Well, when it comes to heart transplants, many patients don't have time to wait. Yeah, luckily, there's technology that's really improved over the past decade that can make a transplant list feel a lot more manageable. Here's CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner to explain exactly how that can happen. Waiting for a heart can mean days, months, even years on the transplant list. It's very individualized. It's not what you would expect to hear from someone with congestive heart failure. Oh, right now I'm not in any hurry. You know, and that, that was one of the, the things, you know, they keep, would keep telling me, you know, and get a better match, the fact that I'm not a sick, you know, got to have one right now, and I, and I feel that way. So, you know, I'm, I'm not in any hurry. Jimmy Ward was diagnosed back in 2001. Up until last year, he was taking medication that managed his symptoms. I gradually got sick over time and didn't realize how bad I had gotten. But now... I'm pretty much, like I say, probably better than normal now, what, what my normal was. And it's all thanks to this. It monitors the batteries, uh, it monitors the pump speed, the volume it's actually pumping. The LVAD. Well, it is, it's amazing. It's life-saving technology. Um, these pumps have been around really since the 1980s, but the technology has really improved, especially in the last decade. In May, Ward came to UAB's Kirkland Clinic for surgery to have the LVAD implanted next to his heart. These are patients that would have not survived probably a few months if it wasn't for the VAD. It's a mechanical heart pump. The uh, pump takes over the circulating function of the left ventricle and um, takes the blood out of the heart and pumps it to the body to all the organs. In the past, patients would have to stay in the hospital for months waiting for a heart transplant. But now, people like Ward can go and live mostly normal lives while they're on the transplant list. A lot of times I have no pulse. You know, other than that, I feel pretty much normal. We're the only center in the state of Alabama that's putting these devices in. So patients who have advanced heart failure, uh, systolic heart failure, which means the heart muscle is weak, there's a lot of treatments such as these devices that could really improve people's um, quality of life and help them to live longer. Now Ward is considered a well patient, so when it's time for the transplant... It puts new leaves on life on day. It's a second chance for what it is. The LVAD can also be an option for those who aren't eligible for transplants. The Kirkland Clinic has seen patients live seven to eight years on the device who otherwise wouldn't have survived for a few months without the LVAD. In studio, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News.